how the tapered annual allowance impacts your pension annual allowance. Most people can contribute 100% of their earnings into a pension up to 40000 a year, but that's not the case for higher earners, thanks to something called the tapered annual allowance, which was introduced in 2016. Are you affected by this tax rule? Stay tuned, because in this video, I will explain who is affected by the tapered annual allowance and its impact, impact on the amount that you can contribute into your pension. As a chartered financial planner helping people plan for a successful retirement, it's obviously important to understand these pension rules, especially for the individuals that I work with, and the, t the tapered annual allowance is one of the key rules to understand. So what exactly is the tapered annual allowance. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. I'm Justin King, and my aim is to help people live successful lives. If you enjoy this video, please press the like button so more people like you can find my channel and become more informed about retirement planning. Let's start by clarifying the rules about pension contribution allowances. Annual allowance is a limit on the amount that can be contributed to your pension each year while still receiving tax relief. It's based upon your earnings for the year and it's capped at 40000 If you exceed the annual allowance in a year, you won't receive tax relief on any contributions you paid that exceed the limit and you will be faced with an annual allowance charge. I have a video all about this called the Pension Annual Allowance Explained and you can find a link in the notes below this video. Now, the tapered annual allowance is targeted at higher earners. It reduces the annual allowance for people with an adjusted income over 240,000 and a threshold income over 200,000. The maximum reduction is 36,000. If you have an adjusted income of £312,000 or more, you will have an annual allowance of just 4000 Understanding the definitions of adjusted income and threshold income are crucial to understanding whether or not you're affected by the tapered reduction. Both adjusted and threshold income include all taxable income, so this isn't restricted to earnings. Investment income of all types and benefits in kind, such as medical insurance premiums paid by your employer, will also be included. The difference is pretty simple. Adjusted income includes all pension contributions, including any employer contributions, while threshold income excludes pension contributions. Let's take a look at how these thresholds are actually applied. Since the 6th of April 2020, if you have taxable income or adjusted income over 240,000, your annual allowance for that tax year will be restricted. Remember, adjusted income includes all pension contributions, including any employer contributions, as well as the value of any benefits in kind, such as medical insurance paid by your employer, etc. So it's not just your gross salary. This means for every £2 of adjusted income you receive over 240000 your annual allowance is reduced by a pound. Once your adjusted income reaches £312,000 or more, your annual allowance becomes just £4,000. This reduction isn't applied, however, if your threshold income, that's your total income excluding your and your employer's pension contributions and any benefits in kind, doesn't exceed £200,000. If you find yourself caught by the tapered annual allowance, you will most likely have to reduce the contributions paid by yourself and or your employer, or an annual allowance charge will apply. It is still possible to carry forward unused annual allowance from previous tax years to a year where the taper applies, so you don't lose that benefit. However, when carrying forward from a year where the taper has applied, the amount of unused annual allowance available will be the balance of the tapered amount. Finally, if you've flexibly accessed your retirement savings, you're subject to the money purchase annual allowance of £4,000 regardless of your earnings. Take a look at my video called The Money Purchase Annual Allowance Explained to find out more. As you can tell, the rules are a little complex, so be sure to seek advice from a qualified financial advisor or maybe a tax consultant if you earn over £200,000 a year. The government website has the limits and figures clearly laid out, and I'll put a link in the description below where you can find that on the gov.uk um, uh, website. For more videos like this about retirement planning, please check out all the other videos that I've done and subscribe to the channel. And for now, this is Justin King helping you live your best life.